This is about what Ron Wyatt claimed to discover. And he claimed to discover many things. If you're familiar with him, uh, you, you know that he's made some pretty big claims. And if you're not familiar with him, this might be a bit of a shock for you. I think one of the issues is, is that he is a Seventh-day Adventist, and that scares people away from bringing him up. That scares away pastors and teachers from even mentioning his name because he's a Seventh-day Adventist. Now, I don't give a rip if he's a Seventh-day Adventist. I'm going to look at what he actually found, and I'm going to look at if he actually found it or not. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. The first discovery we can investigate is the location of Gomorrah. The tree went up as the smoke of a furnace. Ron Wyatt claimed to rediscover the ruins of ancient Gomorrah, the actual place where God rained down fire from the sky. I went on his website and using only this map, I made my way to the supposed location of Gomorrah. As you can see, I wasn't working with a whole lot. Uh, the road we took to the Dead Sea spit us out right around here, and then we traveled up the coast until I eyed a piece of white, ash-colored land where the map suggested Gomorrah would be. There was no parking lot or anything, no tourists, or anyone for that matter, just a two-way road up and down the coast of the Dead Sea. So we pulled the car over and just started walking see more ziggurat type structures at major intersections. Although I didn't notice it firsthand on my trip since we only had about a few hours to explore and you'd probably need about a few days from what I saw. Uh, but when I looked at this photo, I noticed in the background other symmetrical type structures off in the distance and nature just doesn't do that type of thing. The area in the 1990s. Formations such as ancient houses, Gates, temples, statues can still be spotted in the area. As opposed to regular sulfur, this pale white form of sulfur can only be found in the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah. It cannot be found in any volcanic area or any mineral museum. Supporting the Genesis account, geothermal activity has never been recorded in the region, so these brimstones could not have come from a volcanic eruption. This is where Sodom and Gomorrah is. I have been absolutely impacted and impressed by this. It's just, I mean, right now I just feel just a sense of, of awe over me right now as we're here. And as we have discovered in these areas, a brimstone, and they're like balls. And this brimstone is totally different than any other place on the planet. Most other brimstone, and I should mention brimstone is synonymous with sulfur. So brimstone is kind of the old word for sulfur. So as the samples were found to be 98% pure sulfur, unlike any other sulfur found on Earth. This pure, cooked sulfur is the heavenly marker that was left behind to show the world that the Lord, without a doubt, destroyed these sinful cities at His command. Critics have said that the sulfur is from volcanic activity, but that type of rhombic sulfur is only 40% sulfur and is of a crystalline form, unlike the white, compacted monoclinic form that is found in the Ashen Cities today. I really want to find one of those sulfur stones before, I, before the sun goes down. I really want to find one of those stones to show you. That is not a normal shape. That doesn't look natural at all. <laughs> that is definitely seems to be a man-made shape and is this not enough evidence for people to, to find all of these man-made looking structures, ashen remains, crumble in your hands, in the location where we're told in the Bible as, a, as evidence of God's judgment, 
as they're described by Josephus, historian, but then also finding circular, very rebellious. Now, whether or not you've heard of this discovery before, I want you to think about the fact that nobody talks about this. Why is this information so suppressed? Something that Lotan said that, that resonates with me is, there was nobody there. There was not even a tourist attraction or anything. Dude, if the LGBT community knew, if this was widespread information, and if everybody knew that Sodom and Gomorrah was real and God actually wiped out the city, why do archaeologists not look into this? What are they looking at? If they're not looking at this, where it's directly in your face, what are they actually spending their time on? Lotan said there's nobody there. Dude, this thing has been discovered for since 1990. That's, that's 31 years ago. Come on. There's no archaeologists in Sodom and Gomorrah with all this video evidence after 31 years. That's the world we live in. The truth is suppressed. Every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God.